How are you doing, folks? We're still at it. We're here in Galway still. Um, we're here in Brogan's in June. Um, I was just passing. What an absolute selection of tractors they have here. They have Massey Ferguson 120 balers. Look at it. Um, Massey Ferguson tractors, of course, they have Landinis, they have Zetters, they have everything. They're the main Zetter dealer here in this part of the region of the country. Um, Brogan's, of course, have three or four garages throughout Ireland. And, um, they, they kind of all work together and they all do what they have. They have a fine truck with zetters up in it. We're going to turn the camera, we're going to get a video. And if you haven't already, please give a like, give a subscribe. And the more you like, the more you subscribe, even the more you leave comments, um, it bumps the video along. It helps the cause. Um, and YouTube see, okay, that's a video that's getting a couple of views and a couple of comments. YouTube don't care what the video is, but if it's getting comments, getting likes, they're thinking that must be a good video. And so, bump it along and send it along to the next fella. All right, guys, um, we're gonna turn the camera and we're gonna see what they have here for you. Um, I said Brogan's in tune uh, just outside Galway City. All right, guys, first up in the line, we have a Landini. What is she? Oh, she's a 100. Landini is again, nice tractor. I think they are small, a bit soft, um, but they are they are a nice, nice tractor. We have a case. She a farm all. She is case farm all 95A. Of course, the case farm all was a um, hundred years this year in 2023. With a big Massey in there. She a Dinah. She is. I don't know what model she is. That's one thing with the loaders. You can't see half the models. Um, let's go around the other side. We'll work our way up from the bottom because the sun is in the camera. Right, guys. We start down the other side. We have a lovely case here. These are fantastic tractor the last of the david browns even though i think the very last of the david browns was the the other 5150s the 5130s and that kind of stuff um they were the the complete last of the david brown tractors they before that was the last of the david brown design we'll call it um this is a zetter she's the very very first one with the rounded front um, these are a very, very, very rare machine. She's a 3011 diesel. Um, what a fantastic little tractor. This is a project, not for me. I'd love to, I'd be honest with you, I'd love to carry half these home. I hope you can hear me all fine with the wind. I'd love to carry half these home, but um, no, I would absolutely love to, but no. I, herself would absolutely divorce me. She's divorcing me over being here anyway. But um, on our couple of days away to Galway to see Elf Town, but uh, Elf Town, by the way, is highly recommended. Um, what else do we have? We have a 4320 Zetter here. We have actually a Welder Baylor over there in the yard, and the, as you can see it over there, a small Welder Baylor. Um, 4320 Zetter, 1997 Mayo. Um, I know I said it in the last video. My dream zetter would be was this one, an 8111, two wheel drive, four cylinder tractor, about 80 horsepower. These are a beautiful tractor. I knew a friend of mine, he's passed away since, um, he had one and it fell apart. Everything fell off it, but it stayed going. These are a brilliant tractor as well. Absolutely fantastic tractor. Uh, 8111. Um, we have a 4230 case. Um, Again, they're all here for you. We have a Massey, she 290, with a loader, she 290. She's a 290 with a loader, lads. She's got, look at the size of the tires in the back of it. She's a nice little tractor as well. Okay, the loader isn't great, but look, it's fine. It's a freaking, it's a freaking nice little tractor, lads. And of course, we have this animal of a beast of a thing here, TW15. Um, I think from about 88 onwards the TW15 came out before that there was the TW10 and we had the TW20, 25, 35 uh, TW standing for two wheel drive, two wheel tractor and um, the FW were based on the Steiger, the Steyr there were uh, the FW was actually four wheel tractor that's there for you, she needs a bit of love a uh, little T20 of course again T20 was there the brainchild of Harry Ferguson, our own Irish Harry Ferguson. Actually, Patrick is a Patrick Keelty there that done the Late Late Show in Ireland there recently. He has a fantastic um, uh, little program on. It's on YouTube, actually, if you look it up. He does the fantastic history of the Ford, um, but he includes Harry Ferguson in it as well. Um, the case, K2, 
again, don't know the model of it, but absolutely beautiful tractor again. And I know all these tractors you're saying, oh, they're all beautiful, but they are. I love them all. I love them all. We have a Zetter 8540 here with a quickie 445 loader. Good tyres all round on it again. Lads, all these things are here for you. We have a couple of more Zetters over there parked up by the wall. We have a 5340 and the older type. We'll give a look at that again in a minute. We have a 47, oh, 47, 6470 Dyna 6 Massey. Is she FX08? I don't know. Again, me and English number plates don't see eye to eye. Nice Massey there with the loader again. That's one of the Masseys in most of the tractors now. You can see the model number inside the loader. A 5612. I wonder what Zetter is that? Is she a 4911? Here in Brogan's in Tume and Galway for you. Here look, there are his details. Yeah, there are his details. Um, a TS100. She's gone in for tyres, they were telling me. And we have a 6410, 1987 6410. With the uh, the Lamborn cab, I'm not a thousand percent too sure. You can be telling me again. Expensive tractor, lads. These tractors are making big money. She's a series two because there's no wiring, very very little to go wrong, and very very little to go wrong. Um, we have another Ford behind us here. What's that? Is she a Ford four six, something like that. Eighty seven, Ford four six maybe. Oh, it's a 4230 case. Again, fabulous tractor with a loader, two wheel drive. You would actually turn that up on a 50 pence piece. Uh, Cabelco. Cabelco 6 ton mini digger with steel tracks. There's a blade and all this. And of course, we have the fantastic 390 Massey. You know, she could do with a bit of work, a bit of tidying up, but these are a great tractor if they're looked after. Any bit of time and effort put into these at all, and they are just a wonderful, wonderful tractor. Um, we have another Zephyr in the back. I'm trying to keep the camera turned away from the sun. And we're going through this stuff hard and fast. Um, we have a Zephyr Proxima. She's a 6441. Um, okay, she, she's there. She's perfect. There's nothing wrong with Zephyr. So, okay, some fellas might like them, but I like them. Like I said, that 8111, that 8011, that would be my tractor to have on the on the thing if I could we have a Massey Ferguson baler Armagh J-O-S-H Joshua White Limited Armagh he sold the baler originally little nice Massey Ferguson a 120 baler and we have the Herculean dump trailer 14 ton here's a Brogan's truck off the door of it again if you want it and we have the case and we have a neat little case little digger here little load and shovel a 221B whatever that stands for neat little yoke lads she is a nice yoke I know there's all Chinese and Japanese things coming in at the moment but like this is probably going to be still the problem with them, and I have nothing against them. Okay, this fellow's gonna slate me here now for saying this, but the problem with him is um, they're gonna have zero trade in um, value. That's, I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong. They're a bit like my Belarus. Look, I love Belarus, I love my Belarus tractors, but um, they have zero um, trade in value afterwards. Um, with a letter up in the lorry there going out to. Hopefully a new owner. We have a TL90 New Holland. Um, lovely two-wheel drive tractor. I think the TL115 is probably the, the tractor of choice for an awful, awful lot of people. We have another Zetter here. See, the Zetter again, they keep... They should, why, why can't they put the numbers someplace else where you can see the numbers without having to go looking behind the loader or wherever? I don't know, I can't see it. But look, she's probably a 95 or something like that. She's a nice setter with a M A I L L a Malux, a Malux loader, little case digger. 
Nice digger hoodie. She, she's probably two, maybe three ton. She's got a whole pile bigger than that. Nice uh, ditch and bucket with it. Or grading buckets or whatever you want to call it. And we have another case, a new, sorry, another new Holland. Is she a T? I don't know, is she a 115? Is she a 115? You tell me. And we have the dights. No, okay. I got slated the last time for saying I didn't like a certain type of dights. The one with the slopey, slopey bonnet. I do not like that. I don't like them in the masses neither or anything else. But um, this diet, she's a nice looking diet. She's a diet. I'm not even going to try and say it. She's an 85. Um, we have up along, we have the case Puma. Um, 160, of course, the tractor. Definitely the tractor of choice for fellas with round balers in Ireland. Puma, I don't know, I don't know why, is it the way they're geared, I just don't know, she's a nice looking tractor actually, there's a couple of scruff marks in the tyres but nothing, nothing major, just she's clean, the steps are clean, the mud guards are clean, um, what else do we have here for you, we have, what's that, I can't see, there's no name, is she a Kubota, she's a Kubota mini digger, I presume she is 7, she's a 7.3, so I presume she's a 7 ton, um, Next to that we have a Massey. What number is she? She is a 5455 Ferguson with um, a B or ROB robust F15 loader. Good tires all round again. Nice, nice tidy little tractor for someone. And of course again we have the infamous 390. I have a thing about 390s, there's no doubt about that. The 390 Massey is without doubt a beautiful tractor. Like I said before, and I've said this in thousands, hundreds, thousands of videos, a good few of my videos, um, it just seems to be the last of the basic tractors. After that, they went down the line of, they went down the line of um, electronics and all this kind of stuff. And the you know, electronics are fine when the tractor's new. Don't get me wrong, they absolutely are. But when they get to a certain age and when I suppose a certain clientele is buying the tractor. He's not overly worried about uh, electronics. He definitely is not overly worried about electronics. Um, we have a couple of newsletters here up in the yard. Um, that, that 390 is 1993. Um, this is a nice ma clean Massey as well. A 4255 with a trim loader. And um, what else do we have here for you? We have a tow fast. Um, low loader Tyrone trailers I've never come across Tyrone trailers before um, but I was just looking at it that is a nice nice low loader it's a, a double axle twin axle low loader um, hydraulic ramps a whole lot in it and look selection of brand new loaders here on Alfio I keep drawing to that setter no but let's let her pop that one the one below. Will she ever come to carry with me? Probably not. Probably not. But look, they're all there for you. We're going to do a quick walk over and we'll give a look at that. Um, he also has these moors. It's ELL Selling, Brogan Tractors Limited, in Tume County, Galway, lads. Tyrone Trailers. That's, a, that's actually a lovely trailer. The only thing they could do with an, in my very meagre basic opinion I think they should have put a couple of more reflectors on the back door and stuff but I suppose there's nothing stopping you fitting that kind of stuff after um, let's do it. Have another here. 5320 let me see it here let me turn the camera 5320 I'd say just after being traded in there for you uh, fitting for probably a tank oil order on it as well Good tyres in the back, all the glasses in the cab. Because you could do with a belt of a power wash. But sometimes, from time to time, we can all do with a belt of a power wash. Of course, Brogan tractors are with years and they have had um, years of dealing with zetters and everything else. And of course, they're all over the country. Though. They have three, I think there's three brothers, or three different carriages. This is a new zetter. Um, I would love to get out in one of these. I would love to get out in one of these. This one, oh, she's a 120, the other one's a 100 and 110. 
but I'd love to get out from all these for a day or a couple of days, a day, half a day with um, drawing a load of silage. Like, these are a lovely tractor. Um, I drove one of them once behind in a garage in Kerry. And um, it was just a lovely little tractor. They're a, like I said, they're a pure basic tractor. There's no frills and no, well, there is bits and pieces, but there's no major electronics. Uh, compared to no look, electronics are fine. Don't get me wrong. I, I love, I love, <laughs> some of these electronics. I love them, but like they're just, yeah. I suppose they're not for everybody. It's as simple as that. But, like these little, they're, they're here, they're here. Is that for here? Is that for here to stay? And as far as I know, they are very, very well priced compared to some of the other stuff. But look. Again, are, are they for you? So, here we have three, three brand new zetters here, and here we have broken van. I'll just turn on the thing and you can get the, the number off the door of the van. Press pause there, guys. Alright, guys, that's it. This is the zetters. Um, thanks again to Brogan's in two Galway, and um, that's them there, look. And, um, Give a like, give a subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to have more of this. The more you like, the more you subscribe, the more you leave the comments, the more I'm going to get to do this. Because when you like, when you subscribe to the videos, it's going to move me up along. They call it the algorithm. I don't understand it, but it's above my pay grade. But the more likes, the more comments, the more everything, it bumps me up along the thing. And fellas get to like it, fellas get to see it, fellas get to whatever. All right? Please give a like, give a subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you all this. I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay, guys, keep it up.